I don't know if I've lost my mind or not, but guys, first of all, let me say, it is a beautiful day today. And I'm in front of the road glide here. And um, I want to start off this video by saying thank you to everyone that came to Run to the Hills 3. But guys, this video is going to be a special video because the bike that you see behind me, you will not see that bike in this way um, after we come back from the commercial break. Okay guys, so this is my 2023 Harley Davidson Road Glide. Um, standard, well, technically it's just a Road Glide. No such thing as Road Glide Standard, it's Road Glide Special, and this is just the bottom of the line Road Glide. Now, I absolutely love the way this bike looks. I love the way the short windshield looks. I love the way it looks just pretty simple and stripped down, not a whole lot of things on the bike. The lines are nice and smooth. Um, this bike is just perfect for me. It's a perfect motorcycle for me. It has a new motor built from Zippers Performance to 124, making 145 foot-pounds of torque and 138 horsepower at the rear wheel, and is built for the highway in mind. Now, I love it like this. There's not anything that I would change on this bike but I have to make some changes. I have to make some changes because I bought this motorcycle to take a cross country road trip with my wife. And that's why I asked you to pray for me because she's never even ridden on the bike before. Not one time, never even rode on this bike. She, ride, she rode on the street glide, but never even rode on this bike one single time. And we're gonna be taking the cross country trip totaling about 7,000 miles <laughs> on this bike. So I have to make some changes. Now I had in mind the whole time that I wanted more power, more torque, so that's why I got the Zippers Performance kit. I also um, knew that there would be some changes that I have to make. As much as I absolutely love this LaPera Daddy Long Legs kickflip seat, which is necessary to hold you in when you got big power and you're trying to launch a bike, um, it's not gonna work to ride two up cross country like that. Now, let me grab my chair again, I'm gonna tell you something. Then we're gonna get started with this. You're gonna like today's video because this will not look like this in a little bit. For a limited time, the Custom Dynamics Traveling Tall Edition Package, which includes front LED turn signals, rear LED turn signals, smoke lenses, a magic strobe brake flasher, and a custom Dynamics Traveling Tall collaboration pack. There's a limited supply, make sure you order yours today. Keep gliding, and as always, have a blessed day. Okay, so I am taking a trip. I'm going on a road trip with my wife. Again, I'm directly in the sun when I shot this video. I'm going on a road trip with my wife. It is our anniversary. Well, we're doing this in celebration of our anniversary. Our anniversary was a couple months back, but she decided she wanted to go on a road trip. Now we've been on several trips or just a trip in the comfort of a car where she likes to stop and get her Starbucks and, and be very comfortable. Um, but she decided that she wanted to go on a trip with her husband on a motorcycle because I love it so much. And she said, well, we're not getting any younger. Let's do it while we're still young. So I agreed, but now reality is hitting me that I'm like, I don't know what I agreed to because she's never been more than 30 miles on a bike. After 30 miles, she's complaining about the seat. So I'm not sure how she's gonna make it all the way across country. I know that she will cause she's, she's stubborn just like I am, but <laughs> it's gonna be, a different ride now it's even started out being different and guys you came here to see the transformation of the bike you're going to see that just let me get to this so it even started out being different as far as planning for the trip i'm a spare of the moment type of guy i travel cross country i've done that several times i've never even booked a hotel in advance i usually book a hotel while i'm standing in the lobby you know i'll go into the front desk and ask for a room they have one great or might be sitting in the parking lot and get on Priceline.com and actually book a hotel. So I'm not planning anything. And she's the total opposite. She plans for everything. I don't worry about much. I figured it all works out. She worries about everything. So going on this trip is gonna be 
it's going to be different, right? To the point the other night when we were in there, uh, she was doing some research on the trip and I said, what are you doing? She was typing in YouTube, cross country riding. And I looked at her, I said, Tanya, I've done this several times before. I kind of know what I'm doing. And she's like, yeah, but I just want some other people's opinion. So literally when she typed in cross country riding, my video popped up, but she didn't click my video. Of course, she's not gonna listen to me. She clicked somebody else's video just to get their opinion of it. Another thing, once I set my mind to do something, that's where I'm going, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't second guess it, I don't think it over anymore. That's where I'm going, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, with my wife, any decision that I make, far as even parking at a parking space at a store, she'll question, why did you park here? If I pull in, why didn't you back in? If I did this, she's gonna ask me, why did I do that? And just like knowing that I've taken a lot of long distance road trips, she's still questioning, is this the best way and the best route to do it? And I get that, I get that. That's just how she is and I love her for it and, and she knows how I am. But we're gonna be on this motorcycle for a bunch of days going across country. This is kind of the introduction of it, guys. And I'm gonna take you with us. You're going on a road trip with us. I'm gonna be filming. I'm gonna be going live from the road. The edits might not be like they normally are, but I will get you some footage from the road and I'm gonna share our two up road trip across country. Now, with that being said, this motorcycle again, move my chair back out the way. The way that I have it configured, it's not conducive for two up riding. The seat's not. These little pegs in the back. I don't even have highway pegs on the front of this thing. This windshield is very short. It's cool looking, but it's short. The bags are standard bags. It's got the short bags on it. There's no tour pack on the back. There's no rack on the back. It's not made for cross country road trip, let alone a two up cross country road trip. So in today's video, after I come back from the break, I'm gonna show you all the modifications that I will be making to accommodate my wife for a two up cross country road trip. All right guys, so let's get some stuff off of this bike and get some of the new stuff put on. Stretch saddlebags for more storage. I can fill up stretch saddlebags, a tour pack, and a roll pack by myself. So I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I see other people doing it. So I know it can be done. All right, you can see the difference, a whole lot longer. Got the stretch saddlebags on. Got the King Tour Pack on. Yes, I have a Chop Tour Pack, but I have the TCMT King Tour Pack wrap around backrest, little extra storage in the back. So I think this will be better for long distance traveling. All right, so what do you guys think so far? You see the tour pack, you see the stretch bags. So you see, I still have the daddy long legs kick flip seat by La Pera. Well, this is not gonna do for two up riding. Perfect for one up riding, perfect for me. I love the way it looks. It makes the bike look really nice too. And it has plenty of room, but but I need to have a little bit more comfortable seat for long days. Might be doing 700, 800 miles a day. Let's take this off. All right, so I got a new seat from La Pera. Let's go ahead and get this opened up.
be careful. Don't want to cut my seat. This is a nice looking seat. Guys, I love LaPera seats. <laughs> I love that they are family owned. They're made in California. And this is a custom premium seat that they make. It is a fantastic seat. I have one. That last seat was a LaPera seat, the seat that I have on my Street Glass LaPera. And I even have one for my Road King that I haven't showed you yet. This seat is an awesome seat and it comes with a backrest, but it's going to be a whole lot more comfortable than the seat that was on there for long distance traveling. Let's get it out the bag real fast here. Look at that. What do you think about that? Has diamond stitching down the center, perforated leather. Looks good. Real good. Here is the seat screw. It's a little pair of stickers. Let's get this put on. Carpet it underneath. It says LaPera right there. LaPera right here. Let's get this on here. It's definitely going to be more comfortable. <laughs> Let me stand back and look at it first. Now that's starting to look like a road cruiser right there. Definitely looks way more comfortable. Now that's a tall seat. That is a tall seat from the para daddy long legs that's their tall version i can tell you i can tell you now it has way more padding in it than the other seat and this is the tall one it actually sits you up a whole lot higher so it's going to allow me to have more leg room here and look at the cushioning in the back this is plenty plush and i'm going to give you guys a full review on it I like this. I never had a backrest like that before. It comes off real simple too. Easy to remove this. All right guys, so what do you think so far? It definitely looks different than it did before. It still looks good in my opinion, but I never realized how much a seat can change the whole profile of a motorcycle. I love the way that kickflip seat looks. It makes the bike look really aggressive. This, it still looks good. It is definitely a whole lot bigger than the kickflip with the foam and everything. I can see that, but it didn't give it that couch look that I've seen a lot of long haul seats have. Um, I can't deal with the big fluffy comfy couch. <laughs> this one right here, it has a nice clean look. I will give you a full review on it after I've done some miles. Okay, so now we address the seat. We have extended bags. We have the king size tour pack for more space back here. Now it's time to do something with the pegs and I need some highway pegs. So a few things that we're going to be changing. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to be putting on, getting rid of these and getting some of these. This is the Harley Davidson footboards. The Streamline Collection. People always wonder, why, didn't, why don't you change the uh, footboards? Because I like them. <laughs> I like the little three stripes that the Streamline Connect Collection has. The mini footboards are going to match the front. So instead of that, you're going to have that. Better for her to put her feet right there. So that's going to look cool. Now, not only do I have that, I have the adjustable auxiliary footboard mounts. So it's kind of like highway pegs for the passenger. So you have more than one place to position your feet. That's what I have right here. So I'm going to be putting that on. These are the uh, custom rider foot pegs. These are the foot pegs that goes with that. Um, also, I don't see uh, my crash bar or engine guard highway pegs i need to get some of those i forgot those i'm gonna get all this stuff on and you can see what it looks like when you get back